Yo, what's up everyone? In this video, we're gonna be talking about fields. So fields are just variables. They're just defined at the class level. So that's what we're gonna be talking about. Hopefully you guys are pumped. Monday.com is your visual project management solution. This is the tool that allows you to see where every task or project stands with a single glance. With a fully customizable interface, you can create the exact workflow that you need for you and your team to get stuff done. Monday.com is available on mobile and integrates well with some of the most popular tools out there. So get your life in order by giving it a try for free. Link in the description. All right, so let's talk about this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go inside of our user class. And if you don't have this or you're just jumping in, all you gotta do is, is right click the program over here and click add new file and then an empty class. Once you've got this far, you can start filling it out and we can basically put anything in here that a user would want to store information about. So think of this as the user's memory. So we're right now making the blueprint, but each object is going to be able to store their own values for these fields. So one user might be me. And you know, the things I might wanna know are my name, I might want to know, gosh, I don't know, other stuff but we're gonna start with the name because that's the simplest. So this is going to be a string type and then we're going to give it an identifier. So we're going to name the field. We'll just call it name. Now you're going to want to prefix this with public for now. And when you prefix a field with public, by convention, you'll probably want to use a capitalized first word here, and in this case, that's just going to make the N capital. In the next video, we're gonna be talking about properties, but for now, let's just talk about fields. We talked a little bit about their differences when we are going through the concept videos, but for now, know that the, the public fields are not the most recommended way of storing information, but for very simple stuff, it shouldn't hurt to do something like this, but best practice, and there's really no reason not to, would be to use a property instead. But we are going to still use fields throughout this program and throughout this course, so it's still important to know how to create them. We're just not necessarily going to create them public all of the time. So enough rambling, just tell me to shut up if that happens or just skip. <laughs> what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go into our program and we're going to use this. So we have this new user, all you gotta do is say me dot name and we can assign it a value such as so. Now this is essentially a new way to store information. It's just a variable attached to the me object and we can use that just like any other string variable. So for example, we can say console dot right line and we can pass that in. We can say me dot name and if everything's right, it should print Caleb Curry out to the console. Beautiful. Now, when it comes to how much information to store in one variable, you probably want it to be as atomic as possible. Now, when I say atomic here, I'm not talking about no nuclear bombs or anything. We're just talking about as indivisible as possible. So rather than saying Caleb Curry, we could split that out into me.firstname and me.lastname. So what we're going to be doing in the next video is we're going to create properties instead of fields that allow us to store that information. But before we do that, let's first just talk a second about why you would want to use fields if I'm saying properties are the, the way to go. Well, that's because right now we're prefixing this field with this public keyword, which basically makes it accessible outside here uh, over in, in our application. But sometimes we're not going to put that public keyword here and we're just going to use fields to store information that's behind the scenes and doesn't need to be exposed to the entire world. And that is another very good use of fields and we'll probably see that in the upcoming videos. So thank you guys for watching. Check out the next video because that's going to follow up on this and give you a little bit extra information. So thank you, I'll see you then.